three, two, one. Bob, take it away. Hey, we're uh, doing yet uh, another evaluation of a caption contest. We have a, a great new cartoonist uh, that uh, we came across, Jack Riley, who this is the first time I'm meeting, who is a wonderful artist. Uh, from my point of view, he's a little bit too wonderful. <laughs> You know, those drawings sort of make everybody else do cartoons feel bad. Should we be drawing better? I actually think <laughs> we'll discuss it. Should be drawing a little bit worse. But tell me, Jack, how did you how did you get into cartooning? Do you have any formal art training? What's your background? No formal art training. Um, I was just the kid that ripped the comics page from my dad every time he cracked the Tribune. Once I saw Calvin Wasn't and Hobbes, he a little bit annoyed side. with that? I mean, he was reading the paper. <laughs> it was. No, he would get angry because he, he liked it too. And yeah. he would do the crossword and he would yell at me. Yeah. Uh, okay. And I would cut out, you know, all my favorite cartoons and put them on bulletin boards. And so my dad would open the paper and be full of holes. And he'd just be like, God, <laughs> God damn it. You know? Uh, but yeah, I loved it from an early age. Always was doodling, always was drawing and just kept it on the back burner, you know, uh, throughout my career it was cartooning. What was the front burner? Front burner was graphic design, uh, event managing, lifeguarding, bartending, anything <laughs> that paid the bills, man. <laughs> and it, in your in your development, so when did you get into when did you get into it like more more seriously, more full time, starting submitting, thinking about that, and why? That was probably about seven years ago. Um, I was doing a lot of commission work for people and uh, they just always responded to the cartooning stuff the best. And that's the stuff I always like to do the most. Uh, I think it's because I'm a control freak. Like so many of us, I like to, you know, manage the little world you create. Yeah. And, um, and so I just decided to submit to the New Yorker um, and actually got a response. And they said, hey, you can submit directly to me. And then two more years of torture and they finally took one and I thought, okay, let's keep doing this. Yeah, oh, that's great. That's great. That's great. Uh, and in the development of your style, which is a, an elaborate style, you know, maybe it, it harkens back really to the drawings of the 40s and the 50s, um, you know, very carefully worked out. Who were you inspired by? Arno, Adams, people like that. I mean, because... Uh, uh, you know, so what's what's the genesis and did it evolve? Did it evolve over time? Did it turn from one thing into another? I think so. Yeah. I mean, I always loved Adams. I mean, just like the houses and the gothic nature. Yeah, yeah. And then and then Bill Watterson, you know, his um, his arguments with editors and syndicates was famous, you know, for yeah. always wanting more space, more space. Let yeah, me create yeah. an atmosphere. And I remember looking at the Sunday paper and seeing Calvin and Hobbes, which took up two thirds of a full newspaper page. And then they cram Beetle Bailey and Hagar, Hagar the Horrible and everything else in. And I, it was like, it was amazing to see. It was like, oh, if you give this art form room to breathe, uh, there's amazing things you can do with it. And so I just kind of always lean towards that. I, I liked to create a little bit more of an atmosphere if I can. And then I noticed that a lot of things were kind of going towards anti-style and, you know, kind of more scribbly, more doodly. And you know that if the gag works, that's awesome. Um, but I always feel like if you can make the art support the gag in a way that um, makes you look at the caption, you have fun with it, and then you look back because there's more going on, and you might get another chuckle or smile. That to me is a win. I like that. Yeah, I, I, I think uh, uh, someone in a similar vein to you is Will McPhail, who uh, yeah, he's he's the top of the heap as far as I'm yeah, concerned. Yeah, in which you in uh, you know when we we to see that, I think it's great to have this kind of you know diversity. I think to some extent, uh, what happened uh, with William Sean in the '60s and '70s. Uh, you know, before that, it was very, often very much gag writer and cartoonist. And right. although cartoonists did that. And so you had one person doing the very high style often and, uh, you know, the, the gag writer doing the gag. But William Sean wanted the singer songwriter model. He wanted it to do one thing. And I think you did, in most instances, you, there was a trade off there in terms of the skill. And sometimes, I think it often works if the person who doesn't have that top artistic skill 
still has something else. Thurber had it, for example. Even though in to some sense he could hardly draw it all, there was something charming about it. But I really like this diversity, and I, you know, I, I think that's that this other thing about it. And and do you how do you how do you actually create the cartoons, uh, you know, ink and ink pencil, whatever on paper or or digital? Uh, yeah, it's all old style analog, watercolor, ink, pencil, charcoal if I need it. Just throw the kitchen sink at it and see, you know, what supports the gag. You know, if it if the gag doesn't work, and I I sometimes overwork it. I, I'm sure you could probably tell me which ones. No, I've no, no, no. It's definitely <laughs> it's definitely overwork. But the <laughs> no question about that. But it's still great. You'll you'll evolve whatever you want want to want to evolve. Sam Gross, who uh, uh, had a fairly simple style, but he once told me he was on Fire Island and he ran out of wash, and he had he used to smoke cigars. He had, a, he had cigar ash, so he just put that in the water. <laughs> That's great, and and and, and use that uh, use that for the uh, for uh, uh, the the grayscale, and let's so let's get on to the cartoon, uh, yeah. uh, which is I think a really interesting cartoon, and I think people came up with pretty good, uh, really was pretty good captions for this complicated uh, for this complicated cartoon. Let me share it here. Um, yeah, to, to recap, it's a, uh, appearing to be a, well, get ready for a lot of poop throwing jokes, but yeah, <laughs> yeah I, I didn't, I, I didn't go over any of them. No, I, there was too many of those. Um, yes, it's a, it's a couple. She seems to be having a good time, a family. He, he seems to be having a good time as well, but you know, could be, is observing, he's speaking and they're looking at a, uh, at a Shakespeare play mm -hmm. done by, done by primates. Um, and also an airplane, which, and, and an airplane, which a lot of people mentioned. And, and just because we, yeah. talked about, we did talk about how great Jack's uh, work was. Yeah, yeah. You, we can zoom in here and just. Oh, that's wonderful. And, see, and I'll, tell you, I'll tell you one thing. Characters man. doing everything all, all over oh, the place. Right. A lot of people fixated on the plane, um, which, you know, maybe Jack did the ground in modern day or not. But, uh, you know, there, there are little characters throughout that are fun. Well, to I, I see what Jack is talking about. Now that you're zooming in, there are all these funny elements. You really are getting a, uh, you know, I mean, so everybody develops their unique. Uh, there is this template at one point, you know, simple, simple. Don't put anything that doesn't go to, but, you know, uh, uh, templates are good to break. And I, I think this is just so much fun to look at. Yeah, absolutely. It's a fun one to look at. Probably harder than our most, but uh, yeah. We well, I think that made it, it you know, as, you know, as Lawrence and I have discussed, and he wrote in his book, which I'm sure he'll plug by the end of this uh, video. <laughs> I'll plug uh, it right now. <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> if you try to, you can only integrate a few elements to make a joke. Mm -hmm. You know, and there are a lot of things going on. So you're going to, you know, to make it really work, you're going to have to focus on essentially, I, you know, I feel that it's Shakespeare, Romeo and Juliet, whatever. Go ahead. So, yeah, I was going to say, we'll start how we always do it. Everyone sends in 10 captions. We, uh, we don't know who they are. We just know the order they were submitted in. Uh, we don't look at the voting. We don't look at other people's captions. And just for the sake of brevity, I compile the ones that uh, we sh that were shared across any of our top ten, and we kind of start there and go from there. So I will share the top ten, um, and our top ten. Um, we'll just do stop screen share. Share. So here we go. These were the ones that were across. <clears throat> our top 10. Uh, at least it's not Cats, the musical. Uh, collectively, they're called a troop. Little, little monkey troop humor. Uh, I don't care if an infinite number of them wrote it. It's still plagiarism. Call out to the monkey typewriter role. No, I, I think it's a, it's, a, it, it's, a, it's a call out to AI. And 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 the infinite number. And infinite number. That's, that, so, and that's actually why I liked it. <laughs> In the Bard's day, men played all the roles, which is just kind of silly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I love that one. I like that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I missed that. It's missed great. That. Sure, they can write Shakespeare, but what they really want to do is direct. Very kind of classic. I would say that's more formulaic. One. Um, 
Yeah, yeah. I thought that was good, but just a little. It's a formulaic one that people can put. No, in. I, I understood what it was. It should have been more compressed in some way. It should have just been. But what they really like to do is direct. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's true. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah I mean, it actually, it would be better. Better. that that I think would have been a a good joke. This is okay, you know. Uh, their Sondheim tribute is better. Rest in peace. Uh, this is not historically mm. accurate. That's good. Uh, <laughs> That's good. I mean, not as good. We should <laughs> leave, we should leave we should leave before Romeo starts the mating process. Yeah. <laughs> yeah uh, I think the the one is historically not accurate. There are more pointed ones there, trying to make digs at diversity and who's playing the roles. Which I don't think were as good, you know. And uh, but I, I think I think that one's just being absolutely ridiculous. I did put these on here. Um, uh, if you got if 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 it helped to see any of them here, um, you know, uh, all of these are here. Um, but I mean, yeah, all of them work. <laughs> um, <clears throat> we obviously uh, so we can start. Sometimes tribute is I I think is is good. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, are we going to start stop, with stop, stop on this one? Stop, go back to that one, please. Sure, sure, they can write Shakespeare, but what they really want to do is direct. That wouldn't, it's not really right. Sure, they, it, it, because, because what the actors want to do, they play and they want to direct. It's not that they write and they mm -hmm. want to direct. I know that's nitpicking, but they're mon we're talking about monkeys and they were nitpicking. Yeah, monkeys. I also think yeah. the caption is better, like you said, but what they really want to do is direct, even regardless of what you said, I think, but right. what they really want to do is direct is a better caption. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, Go ahead. In Bard's Day, men played all the roles. This one I didn't choose, but it does crack me up. Yeah, it's good. Um, I don't care if an infinite number of them. This one is like, I feel like we had, like this one like was going to be put in, but... Uh, yeah, it's a good one. Collectively, they're called the troop. Uh, there was another one that I picked that that also used that, and it said they are troops or some whatever. So yeah. okay, and um, we can get to um, we can get to six and then go and, and knock some out and get to our uh, and then and then go through our individual ones. Um, not to speak, but it feels like we we knocked out what they really want to do is direct. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. Um, so now we're down to. Gone. Yep. Now we're down. Yeah, this is a cruel business here. So now we're down to, it is. to seven. Um, I. Uh, the plagiarism I, one, is, again, is clumsy, isn't it? I, I, I think it was on yeah, my list. I think it, I it, 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 but it, it's too it, long. I, I, I like it because. Of the point it's making. Yeah, <laughs> right? yeah, I like that. I like the concept, point, but, it, but, it, but, it, but it's not really well formed. And if we're bringing up funniness, it's if I mean being funny does matter. It's the least funny, I think. Yeah, yeah. It is clever though. I give them credit. No, it, no, it, 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 yeah, it, the, it the, well, the I think one of the problems is it's sort of trying to do two jokes and maybe associate. And for me, the association because I'm giving this talk on AI and humor and uh, and. To some extent, what AI is is an infinite number of monkeys. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. uh, but maybe anyway. Yeah. Let's, yeah, it not, it, it highlights the idea. fact that the the delivery matters. You've got to do more than come up with a clever idea. Yeah, the germ of an idea. You've got to deliver it well as a joke, and that's just not well delivered. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Thank you for reminding me of that, Lawrence. <laughs> <laughs> This is something Bob's never understood. He just doesn't I never understand. understand. <laughs> now, now you tell me. Now you tell me. <laughs> All right, Bob. We'll start. Seven-time winner. We'll start with you, Bob. Or we'll start with uh, we'll start with Lawrence here. He's first. Lawrence, are there any um, you want to read through? Or are there any that you kind of want to sure? Talk about here? Um, well, I, I had a, a couple of these in the top ten, but uh, and I did have a feces joke. There were too many feces jokes, but I did like in this performance the Montagues and Capulets throw feces at each other. Um, be ready, their love scene is really explicit. I liked um, the, yeah. the one that I had in the top ten was in Bard's Day. Men played all the roles. I think that should be at least among the top six. 
uh, I had at least it's not cats. I liked, I heard the casting couch was obliterated just because of the image uh, that it creates. <laughs> yeah. um, it's a really vulgar <laughs> sex joke, but and I'm not saying it should be in the top six, but it made me laugh. Yeah. Um, their train just not classically, I thought was good because monkeys sometimes are trained. I did have the collectively they're called the troop. Um, the the infinite number of monkeys on typewriters joke that I liked was once they typed Shakespeare, they had to perform it, mm -hmm. which I think is more elegant than the other uh, typewriter joke. And then my vote for the best caption, this would be the winner. And I don't think anybody else liked it is this is the part where Romeo rips her arm out of the sock and eats her face. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> Which made me laugh out loud. And I thought I thought it works yeah, with the caption. I thought it's dark. <laughs> I mean, oh, well, it's, oh, it's dark, all right. But, but the problem is it directly relates to that horrible incident where the yeah. chimp did, in fact, eat a woman's face. And oh, it, that's right. I mean, yeah. it, you know, so it's... Yeah, uh, and the uh, and so that's what's that about? So chimps, when they fight, don't do that. Chimps in interactions with human beings have done that. Mm. So I am ashamed of you, Lars. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. See, this, this is what happened. When you, really, I mean, you're a guy. You're a lawyer. You you have some ethical, and this is you. No, that's terrible. Yeah, let's say uh, I I got to uh, quickly do a. Uh, I'm going to quickly share. I submitted a cartoon once. It's actually on our site. It's of a monkey in an elevator. Up, down, or bite your face off. <laughs> oh, oh, my God. God. <laughs> oh, my God. That's so, great. Just, <laughs> I, I love I, it. I, and I'm, I'm the only one of us who actually had a monkey uh, as a capuchin monkey in the 60s that... Uh, you don't want to have a monkey. No, <laughs> I hear it. they're terrors. Oh, oh, absolutely. I mean, what happened is, okay, I not only had a monkey, <laughs> I had a monkey and a typewriter because <laughs> I was uh, in experimental psychology. And of course, I knew the joke. And I had the monkey in the cage, a capuchin monkey, and I would feed it mealworms. And outside the cage, I had an electric typewriter that I would reward him with if he hits the key. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> and You've lived he, quite a life. <laughs> and he did turn out to be or not to be, that is the gazoida plank. But uh, that's actually a Bob Newhart routine. Uh, you, I don't know how many remember who Bob Newhart was, but he was a great, great comedian. He was on a sitcom. But he used to do these routines like on the, as though we were on the phone. And this routine was, I mean, I give away the punchline, but this routine was, uh, yeah, yep, yeah, Bob, yeah, we got the monkeys here. Uh, doesn't seem to be much going on. But wait, I think we got something here. One of them has to be or not to be, that is the gazoida plank. And so... <laughs> So, so yes, yeah, so that, that is the routine. Uh, a little side thing for you younger people. Um, I, well, I, I, um, I mean, I guess we're stuck. I mean, Lawrence did get three, and should we just keep moving on, or is there one that we don't yeah. want to throw? Okay, we'll keep moving on. So, Jack, you're up here. If there are any that you uh, you want to talk about or fight for, this is your chance. Could you could you could you make this bigger? These... Uh, I can. I'm, I, I'm an elderly man with a good memory, but I can't no, see. I, I, always, I always try to see you guys, and now I can't. But we got it here. Let's go. Um, I, I agreed with Lawrence on some of them, as you can tell. Um, they almost seem human, don't they? Made me laugh. I mean, how much more human can they possibly get? Yeah. Uh, so it's just such a dumb comment. Uh, yeah. You know, dumb things with sophisticated setups always make me laugh. Um, no, I mean, it actually literally stinks um, as if like the guy is judging these monkeys so harshly that one yeah. got to me as well. Uh, and the, we can't even get our kids to clean their room. Um, that, <laughs> that one stuck with me as well. 
I think Jack and I both have young kids, so I think that makes more sense. For you. I mean, there I, I you, there you a, go. Lot, a lot of decent captions here. That, I mean, originally, I think I had about 20 or 22, you know, to get through, and you know, a lot a lot of these were the same. I think they almost uh, see you, seem human, don't they, is kind of funny. Um, but, yeah, it's it's not a... No, but, but that's not good enough. Not good enough, you yep. know. There's better I'm ones. Getting into, Agreed. I'm getting into my total cartoon de despotic mode. <laughs> right, um, there is a I'm, lot. I'm, you have to. No, I'm inspired by the presidential election. Oh my <laughs> God, what's happening? Don't let's not go there. Uh, uh, <laughs> let's not. keep you on track here. Because all right, Bob, you're up here. Any of your favorites? Okay. Uh, 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 yeah, the mating process, explicit, same thing. Uh, infinite, right? Uh, uh, I mean, I put that one in because it was okay. Uh, uh, I did really like they're really chewing the scenery because that's a that's a trope for when actors overact. <laughs> that's what it means. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Get that? Uh, <laughs> the Sondheim tribute is better. That's a good caption. <laughs> I don't know. The actor strike was good for everyone. I thought it was sort of funny. <laughs> uh, uh, or or I, I didn't think it was sort of funny. I thought it was funny. I'm not going to like hedge anything here. Uh, this is not historically accurate. It's great. The English accents are atrocious. That's okay. Yeah, but what about their STEM skills? I thought that was an interesting caption. And seems like theater troupe wasn't a typo. It's, it, it, I sort of like that better because it is actually a troupe. Right, right. Um, well, that was the, but it, but spelled an acting troupe is T R O U P, which was, I think, the joke. For the I know, but troop is a, is a theater troop. Yeah, it's wasn't it? yeah. of troops. Right, right. But here they're spelling out the joke. I think for some reason. I guess, yeah. No, it is funny. Both are funny. Both Thank are you. Funny. And, and, and the joke is spelled out. I think it's, I it really helps to be. It helps to be boss. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, well, Bob, you would say if you explain the joke in the caption, you would. You no, would no, uh, no, no, I. I <laughs> I'm, I think both are good. I, I do think that okay. I didn't think of the troop troop part. Um, yeah, Joel. Um, so I've got similar ones that are already in the mix. So the plagiarism one that we just kicked out, the Sondheim tribute is better. There's one I marks when I sent it to you as this is genius because I loved it so much and I knew no one else would like it. It's twenty <laughs> if you count the one that's flying the plane. I think that's amazing. <laughs> I can't wait, even... wait, so you wait a second. Is twenty? What's twenty? You counted all of them? You counted? Uh, yeah. Well, yeah. So that so essentially, because a lot of people pointed out that what's the plane? That the plane feels like a distraction to some people, and it's the only person that actually incorporated the idea of the plane in an interesting way. I.e., there's a monkey flying the plane. So it's not only weird that they're doing Shakespeare. There's 19 people doing Shakespeare, or well, 19 how, monkeys. How, doing how does the number 20 come into this? Because there's tw there's 19 monkeys are in the on in the. Uh, you got to count the, the monkeys. I counted the monkeys. <laughs> Come on, that's my guy. Oh, no, I like I like I like it. It's like really interesting in a way. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's just it makes it. It's a whole. I, I I would say what's really good about that is that it'll puzzle people, and they'll figure it out, and they'll feel it's cool. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's, I love it. It, it. It's 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 a little. It's not meta, but it's it it's got an exchange. Uh, when you said the, the whole part of it ending with if you count to one flying the plane, it was yeah. very funny. It's a really it's a really interesting mind that came up with that. I love it. The, yeah. I, I will say in the New Yorker caption contest, there have been one or two where the winning caption relied on counting the number of animals. In one, it was sheep. In another one uh, by Joe Dater, if I'm pronouncing his name correctly, yeah, uh, it was monkeys. Um, but but the joke relied on there being, you know, a certain number in the cartoon, and 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 somebody had gone to the trouble of counting them, and then built a joke around that. So I think but, it is clever. I think it's good. But, 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 but is 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 this is genius? Is that part of the? No, oh, that's me. Wow. That's me. Being a note for Trevor. I I, I I didn't see I didn't see Joel's note there. I I, uh, I. Well, you know, you're not allowed to do that. <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm leading. The, just, yeah, I'm leading the judges. So I don't want to. I, I don't want to invoke whatever that amendment is that's giving Trump all the trouble. But you read the my rules. <laughs> you might well, no, no. Let, let's let let let's put that in. Yeah, I put I put it in the. Uh, I put, put that in part of the finals because it is so unusual. And the you know game, I mean? of, yeah. the game of monkeys in a in the but you're supposed to you're supposed to pull them out and see how many you get, right? The barrel yeah. monkeys. So, all right. Um, I didn't know. I, maybe I'm adding that to it. <clears throat> the only, the only, the only one, the only other thing that I thought I could talk about the others, but I think there's nothing as good as that. But the one that I thought made me chuckle because I, knew, as usual, I normally find one that I think Lawrence will hate. <laughs> and I like the one that was uh, Plantagenet of the Apes. I thought that was very good. Just I, really torturous. I collected that, but it was a little too much. <laughs> I, I mean, I I do like the one that you selected. You know, it's smart. You know, well, maybe if they tried Marlowe, would be. You know, yeah, that's the, yeah. Appeal. I, like, I, like, I think this is opposite, opposite what you were saying just a bit, Jack. I like you know, sophisticated culture, but in a dumb joke rather than the other way around. So if someone's got a really right. bad pun <laughs> and a really kind of high art uh, cultural reference point, I like that. So and it and works Trevor, both ways. Yeah. yeah. And Trevor likes to appeal to the groundlings. I, I it will get to mine here. Yeah. So uh, <laughs> uh, collectively, they're called a troop. Modernizing Shakespeare's gone to these have been across. Uh, if you don't like it, you can throw poop. Not crazy about many of these here. Monkeys were less dramatic in my day is kind of just a funny trope of a father talking to kids. Yeah. Must be mating season is a funny explanation of what they're witnessing if it's a zoo and it's yeah. Not yeah. Else. Um, this one is just because I like being cruel to theater arts majors. <laughs> um, uh, this th this one I put in because I groaned, and I want to give credit to someone who made me groan out loud. Okay, explain that to me. What's the high brow? What <laughs> monkeys, monkeys have high brows. They have <laughs> monkeys they have, have high brows. Oh, I'm not oh, saying it's oh, good. Oh, I was I was like, oh god, oh. and I was like, because I it elicited. Do they have high brows or just overhanging brows? It elicited a groan out of me out loud alone in my Okay, my okay. I, I gave them credit yeah. for that one. Well, okay. Um, uh, the infinite monkey theorem worked better than expected. Uh, the sign says they tend to act out is so silly. Mm -hmm. um, and this is not this historical. This is not historically. Yeah. yeah, so none I'm so, uh, uh, none, none, none I thought were uh, hilarious other than just meaningless ones about being mean to theater arts majors. <laughs> it's good though. So we will go. We've got now. We got seven here. Seven, the magnificent seven. Yep. Um, actually, maybe we're done with this list. Let's let's take a look at the uh, image now. I guess. So as we look, all righty. Here we go. So now we have. 20, if you count the one that's flying the plane. Okay. Def I definitely want to keep that. By the power vested in me. We should leave before okay. Romeo starts the mating process. Okay. Also a good dad thing to say. Uh, exactly. <laughs> this is not historically accurate. I think that's a this uh, that's good. I think the historically accurate is a wonderful understatement. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's just wonderful uh, uh, for a very also look. Jack has created an amazingly complicated picture, so to get a punch out of that, which is yeah, <laughs> yeah, and it, it doubly right. silly is it's it's not a historical event. Um, but yes, right. Obviously. That's why I also like this is just bananas. Like the thought of me working on this for two days straight and then submitting with that made me laugh out loud. Um, uh, in the Bard's day, men played all the roles. It's a funny, That's very good. It's funny. It's funny with the drawing because it does look like he's mansplaining. It's interesting when you once you put it in with his expression, yeah. it does look like he's mansplaining it. Yeah, but and it's also a clever, you know, twist on, you know, yeah. men playing the women's roles. Uh, yeah. And, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, 
Um, I think we took this one out. Sorry about that. Uh, collectively, they're called a troop. And at least it's not cats, which is, <clears throat> it doesn't really relate so much. I, I think that, that's, that's what what an animal. Uh, it's funny. It, it's funny as a quip. Mm -hmm. It's funny as a quip. If, if you know someone you would say you would say something like this at least it's not cats but it's not but we should eliminate it yeah okay i'm okay with that so if we do that we are we are down to six collectively they're called a troop um wait no we're not down to six we we have uh seven wait no we're down to six we are down to six sorry about that well, you you would never get Trevor's tw uh, counting twenty. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm trying to run this here on Photoshop. The same. I know you're doing a great job. You're doing a great job. <laughs> All right, but so you, but your, your hair isn't doing you a favor. No, <laughs> no. We've had a. It's it, it's better than mine, man. Yeah. Um, yeah, Bob, you got to get yours ready for your talk tonight. I know. Look, I'm going down. I'm going down. A little <laughs> thing right. a lot. We get it all perfect. I'm going to let the, my hair do the whole talk. So let's get let's get to the final. Here we go. We're going to yeah. do all the six one more time. Collectively, they're called. That's not going to win. Okay. In the Bard's Day, men played all the roles. That's a candidate. That's a yeah. candidate for me. Yeah. The sound him. I would say this is a this is this is a top six, but not the winner. But it's right. not the winner. It's fun. Um. This is funny. Um, I would put it. Well, there. that's a candidate. Yeah. Uh, we should leave before Romeo. I mean, it's no, no. That 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 one. Should it, I I would say that a, a caption that goes after the same joke but is better, I think, is "Be ready." Their love scene is really explicit. Mm -hmm. Which I I just right. think um, explicit is a better punchline than mating process. I think it's a little yeah okay so let let but I don't think that should win but I think Lawrence is right I'm uh, I'm on the fence so yeah that sounds fine we're gonna swap. Well, that's okay now some some poor person is looking at this I know I know I'm gonna get an email I'm taking <laughs> Mark Lawrence <laughs> <laughs> yeah now that's that's good that's good yeah. nice and concise yeah yeah <laughs> okay let's go all righty. Um, and then the last one is uh, Joel's. Um, I feel guilty for, for, for forcing this on everyone, but I still love it. No, it's good. <laughs> no, I think, I mean, if we're talking about it here, I think we like, I think if we're going to go in the top three. Let's look, let, let let have Joel, let Joel win. Pardon? Because I, I think, every, I, I just, maybe I'm wrong. I, I, it's this. Uh, you know what I want? It's too bad, you know, because with the New Yorker, you used to have the mystery of the judgment. Mm. <laughs> you know, so there's no mystery. Yeah, I don't think Jules is the why, you know, why did they? Why did they? Why did they pick that? I mean, this is so. <laughs> far, this is so far out of left field, and so unexpected, and ingenious. Yeah. And ingenious. I mean, all of the other ones are good. I mean, it's not historically accurate. Is uh. uh something that you would think is funny but wouldn't like surprise you you know really wouldn't surprise you wouldn't do it so i want uh, you know um, by the power vested in me i'm picking joel's as the winner because i think there is something sometimes special about a unique take on something rather That's than funny. like let's say let's say instead of our uh, 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 the people who submit, the couple of hundred people that submit, we, we had all the whole uh, New Yorker contest, right? Five and 10,000. There'd be a lot of the historic, there'd be a lot very similar to the ones we like, right? And none, I don't think, similar to Joel's. So that's it. That's the winner. I got, I've got to, I got, no, we want to find out what Jack's was because then right. I got to go and actually work on this talk. <laughs> I, I realize if you actually have something to do, you can make quick decisions. That's right. <laughs> uh, Jack, do you want to share your uh, your um, original caption? 
Yeah, mine doesn't crack the top 10. I think mine was, um, I never understood Shakespeare, which just makes the dad there, the butt of the joke, like he's dumber than a chimp. Mm -hmm. Uh, I like all of these submissions better. (laughs) And they are definitely better, but the, but the, but which is no knock on you at all. I mean, this is the truth is that crowdsourcing this stuff of people who are really good at doing this, you often get a, you know, a good, uh, well, now, now, but in your doing your cartoons, do you, uh, how do you work sort of interactively when you were drawing this up? Did you have ideas for captions and go back and forth? I did. Yeah. It's, you, there's no rhyme or reason to it. Sometimes they pop into your head fully formed as you know, Bob, and sometimes you think a picture is funny and you'll belabor the caption for weeks. Um, I'll take it any way I can get it. Yep. Uh, yep. And that, that's the way to do it. Uh, so, so I'll, I'll, okay. I'll, why? So, so Joey. Oh, go ahead, Joel. I was just going to say, why did you include the plane? Uh, the What's plane, that? I did want to make it modern day. Um, okay, I and it wasn't, and the people like, at the front weren't enough. Right, I guess not. Yeah, I just, <laughs> maybe it's Trevor's right, because I have young kids. Whenever I'm at the zoo, I'm feeling very overwhelmed. There's so much stimuli. And the plane just kind of added to the craziness. And I thought, oh, man, yep. If there's going to be this much going on, why wouldn't there be a plane in the back? The, the I dash- really like the plane because if you have seen Shakespeare in the park, there's always a plane. Yeah, there's a giant <laughs> right, and right. He's drowning out, you know, the voices of the actors. And you're thinking, what, what, what do they say? The dad, so really shirt, like yeah. the dad shirt's a little Renaissance fairish, but they're, it's a zoo. It looks like the Seinfeld shirt a little bit. But, uh, <clears throat> all right. Ah, the puppy yeah, shirt. Puppy shirt. <laughs> our, our winner um, is 20 if you count the one that's flying the plane by Joseph Sills. Oh, and that's a familiar name. It is. He has one okay. before. And now are you guys ready to hear the voting? The voting is yes. number one. I give it two opposable thumbs down. It smells like they need a Macbeth. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> no, I mean, it actually literally stinks. No, see, all of these they went for, these really are groundlings. First time at the Los Angeles Zoo, their English mm. accents are atrocious. It looks mm. impressive, but it's much ado about nothing. No. These actors stink. Uh, this one I thought was somewhat clever. Just wait until the nitpicking begins. I didn't pick that one, but I know I just think. I, know, I mean, originally I had that in the mix. Careful, we're yeah. in the splash zone, which is kind of funny. Uh, what's next, Henry the Ape? Uh, I can see why he's won three <laughs> Darwin Awards, etc. None of ours, none of ours no. are among the public. <laughs> what? No, they don't like us. <laughs> You'll, that's a that's a regular part of our judgment. We never seem to be in line with the public. No, that's not true. That's not true. Surprise! <laughs> Very rarely. But yeah, it's happened. The public be damned. <laughs> that's um, what I say. I'll wrap it up. Congratulations to Joseph Sills. Thank you all for submitting. We have Bob Eckstein coming up next. And thank you very much, Jack, for joining. Thank you all, guys. Again, Lawrence, Lawrence, let him plug his book before we say goodbye. Yeah, come on, plug. I'll just say the book, your caption has been selected, is coming on June 4th, and Kirkus Reviews um, will have a review up next week. Great. Have a good weekend, everybody. Okay, bye-bye.